What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are inside the game, inside, right now. I think you should all turn off your lights, put in your headphones, and enjoy the experience, because I actually have no idea what's gonna go on right now, but it's dark in this room, it's dark in this game. Robert, what's what's happening? Yo, dude, we're, uh, we're taking, we're going on a journey here. Yeah? Uh, partly me trying to remember the controls of this game, uh, Partly being afraid because this game's pretty freaky. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that vibe. We're gonna get some crazy stuff that's going on, man. I mean, no spoilers, but damn, we're gonna go inside. Or are oh. we already inside? Oh! I don't know. Dude, this is like a Black Mirror episode. Like, when does it end? Oh, are those people working for the Shh. Institute? They were definitely agents of some sort. I don't know, man. Yeah, so inside... Adults. Adults are uh, enemies. Everything is an enemy. Yeah, I If I you liked, see a thing, it's bad. I liked being a kid when that was just a given. Like, of course, an enemy's the bad guy. <laughs> an adult's the bad guy. But, so, a little background. This game is not the sequel to Limbo, but it's, like, the spiritual successor. Exactly. Or, okay. It's it's in a way to situation. Yeah. So this Similar is, universe. This is Shadow. Um, yep. This is Shadow. Let's just keep it at that. But it's a puzzle game, right? It's a 2D platformer puzzle game. Uh, you bet your sweet ass, boy. <laughs> okay. And you've beaten the game before. I have. All right. So we're going to just try to see if we can get through it pretty easily. I think you're doing a good job. Uh, man, I hope so. I, I mean, so I don't the thing know. I like is that um, all the cues you get are subtle and obvious at the same time. So like at no point does like your... The screen turn red or like enemies are flashing or something you know it's always like oh there's a person and they're pointing a flashlight in your direction you better chill out for a second damn dude those mechanics so we're, we're gonna be moving a lot of boxes i think <laughs> if i remember this correctly we just played ico so That's i'm true. used to it yeah seriously oops i also like how fluid it is this is a real smooth all the movements with the boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. So it. Oh, oh shit, that's a dog. Uh oh. Move, move, <laughs> move, kid. Oh no. That's. Holy crap. That was a fast dog. Yeah, man. If I had waited a second longer. I should flip it the off. Dogs are a major threat, dude. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it, they're bad knees. Is that the only animal that's gonna come after you? Oh no way! Okay. So what? Well, what's like going on here? You're like a boy. Yeah. And adults. Presumably. Are... <laughs> Unless you're like I don't know. Okay, let's start with stuff that we. Can we know. call them midgets? No. What are we? Dwarves? What little, are we call them? Little people. Little people? Yeah. That seems almost worse. You know. That seems more like. That's uh, always. I always agreed with that. Like I. I wouldn't want to be called a little person, but I right. think the little people conference has come to the conclusion that. <laughs> Little people is what they're gonna do, they like which it's kind of it's kind of weird. They started the name of the Little People Conference to decide what they're gonna be called. It, yeah, they came into it with kind of a closed mind. They wanted to be called Little People. Um, <laughs> there's a midget separatist group, but they never really caught much wind. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean it's it's kind of like a North versus South situation. You know, you can call most of them Little People, but. <laughs> We're talking about some, the some Jane Austen are, novel, right? Some of them are going to be midgets. South. No, more like the I think I just made a mistake. Yeah. I think it's very possible. You just like walked in front of the light. The light, or the, the sound is like, tell Ooh, me you made dude, a mistake. We're getting spooky music. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh holy oh. shit. That's, oh, yeah. It's that's real. This game? This is not a kid's game, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. This, this game gets real. <laughs> Robert, he just lit you up. You should wait to see what the dogs do to you, man. <laughs> Christ, man. So, don't do that again. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Do I hold up for a second? Oh, yeah. Okay. Gee, oh, that's like a small window. Come on, come on. <laughs> I can't believe they just lit you up like that. Oh boy. This is like this is like Stranger Things, right? Yeah, it's pretty intense. Dude, crap, crap.
crap, 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 crap. Oh my god. Walk much? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Going at it. Dude. I tripped up, guys. You tripped on a log. I didn't understand. <laughs> Before I I didn't know, but now I do. We you live and learn. Let's do it. If there's one thing that this game uh, shows you very well, it's not growing up. It's a learning lessons, yeah. teaching character. You're going to have a beard by the end of this one? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I already do, really. Yeah. The beard of rough experience, character growing. Jeez, that's a drop. You bet. They're just taking shots, dude. No, they didn't hit me. If you get shot, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was pretty clear by <laughs> the one shot that hit us. Ooh, that was a weird transition. And so are we trespassing or are we being hunted because we're leaving a place? I don't know. In, you know what, dude? There's zero dialogue in this game. Yeah. So there are no straight answers for you, buddy. One, the one thing I know about this game, other than that it's like Limbo, is that the ending, no, like no one understands the ending. Yeah, I, I've I've never looked into it more than that. I just know that people don't get it. It it is weird. Can you just go underwater? Yeah, that oh. was that was definitely what I was supposed to do. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm here, dude. When it's like uncomfortably long, it's like we're not doing something. See, right like, and that's how it shows you're running out of breath. I li yeah, this game is seamless. It's actually excellent. Would you say ten out of ten? Um, it's probably my favorite game that came out last year. Is it the best game ever? I, I think it is the best game ever. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so this was a game CD, of what does this mean? Uh, Dead Pigs. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. So I took it, so I remember the first time I played through this, I basically took it to mean that, like we were escaping a facility yeah. where this kid was being held. Because like they're not police officers, uh, they're just dudes with guns. They're the agents. So I figured it's like some sort of a testing facility. And that's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there was a better way to do that. That's, like, so real, though. So I figure that's what the pigs are. They're, like, animal testing. Yeah, I can see it. Dude, spooky corn mazes. Oh, yeah. You ever gone to a corn maze? I, I have, have, actually. Yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, I grew up in a small town. Uh-huh. Yeah, corn maze is all right. There's a secret in that corn maze, but it doesn't really behoove us to do it. We can go back to it later if you want. But no, we're not doing that. It's it's actually it's like a it's an ending. So if we did it, we'd get like credits, <laughs> which would be kind of weird. <laughs> we just do like a eight minute playthrough. Oh, that's not good. Right. That's more pigs. Well, hey, maybe they're just gonna make bacon tomorrow, and you know. Uh, not if you throw I've on the ground. I've never made bacon. In a pile. So I don't know enough to uh, say that they're doing it, it wrong. Yeah. Are those chicks that are under you? What do you think, man? I think they're chicks. Yeah, but I mean, they're like fives, maybe. <laughs> Can I not? Okay, I guess we're going to turn <laughs> I would have laughed this. if like, one of them was just dead. Just stomped one. Okay. Uh, controls are difficult, kids. Please don't give me a hard time. Yeah. It's been a bit. I haven't played this game since it came out, so. Oof. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how this is the same genre of game as Mario. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely not put this in the same genre as Mario. Right? Oh, is that, is that like a objective to like save the chicks so that's that's what's going on here but like it's a 2d platformer right and there's like the koopas no i would not call this a platformer 2d adventure side scroller i i would honestly probably just maybe a 2d adventure game puzzle i would probably call it a 2d puzzle game Okay, it's running. I don't know why I kept doing that. No. Damn. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Oop, I hope I make it in time. In time before what? 
that feed? Like corn? Whoa! Oh, so... Oh, wait, if those are chicks, then that's sad. Well, they're not dead. Yeah, but, like, they're just in a machine? Well, I mean, they just got, like, pumped through a vent. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> okay. I mean, nothing happened to them. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was cool, but, like... I don't know. That's kind of a thing. It's like... So that that right there was the only puzzle that ever gave me any trouble in this game. Really? Yeah. Oh, is this like Assassin's Creed where you land Pretty much. on dead pigs? <laughs> <laughs> no, but going back to those chicks in the machine, like, people, like, including myself, we... I feel worse oh, for yeah. animals than I do for humans in, like, situations... But sure, I mean, they're far more innocent. Yeah. And, like, they don't know they're in a machine. Like, like at no point is a dog ever at fault. Right. I'm, well... I mean, so, eh. No, I, I would say literally at no point is a dog ever at fault. Like, at no point is an animal that is not sentient at fault. Okay, so let's say I raise an asshole dog. That's on you. Yeah. So this is your fault. But... If that dog kills somebody, it's your fault. Okay. I knew exactly where you were going with that. We're, <laughs> it's like a Michael Vick situation. <laughs> if your dogs aren't... If nobody else can take care of your dogs because they've, like, killed people, it's Michael Vick's fault. It's not those dogs' fault. So so if I have a dog and it kills someone, it's Michael Vick's fault. <sighs> I think so, oh, one shit. thing I actually really like, um, and I feel like is really emblematic of our society... Oh, no. Are you I, dead? I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> I was supposed to time that out better. You're a pussy. Um, <laughs> so, actually, this is a great uh, little segue into something that I've been wanting to talk about that I guess I don't really share with other people. Because I people gave me weird looks when I said this the other day. But um, I feel like this is a really great example of how right now uh, is the best time to live in in the world. Oh, yeah. Well, because, it's always right now. like, if you think about it... Um, Oh man, I just don't want to mess this up. Do I remember what? Oh, okay, okay, I remember, I remember. Is that so, someone kneeling in the back? That's that's creepy. Hang on, hang on. <sighs> Damn, it won't let me do it. I mean, I see what you have to do. Yeah, I do too. Is there like a box or something? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I gotta. Oh. Oh, okay. Gross. That was nasty. What just happened? Shh. Oh. Okay. Black Mirror flashbacks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Guys, okay. Black Mirror is a great show. Skip the first episode, please. Don't. It's good. It's not worth it. It's good. It's actually. It's good. like okay. So this is what it is. Whoa. Is it's not that it's bad. Okay. I I don't think the first episode is bad. But it's not worth it. Um, so one example I like to use is oh crap, that's right. Yeah, yeah. This is like crazy as hell. Is it's like it's like a really good ice cream with a cockroach in it. It's like yeah, that thing is still good. Like we get it. Um, but it's got a nasty cockroach in it. It's not worth it. I don't know. I think that cockroach is what made the episode. It's not. It's definitely not. I didn't. You didn't need to undo that to understand the theme of the episode. Anyway, um, uh, I was talking about how... Yeah, shit, you were talking about something. Um, oh, you were talking about how... And that was the... People, okay, yeah, so yeah. one thing that I really hated, and there are a lot of things to hate about college, is that when I got there, people always talked about the same book, because everybody read the freaking same book in high school, which is The Great Gatsby, and everybody would constantly talk about how they wanted to live in the 1920s, yeah, and I'm that. like, you're an absolute idiot, you're a doofus. Oh, and that actually segues into something else that I want to talk about, which is that people always talk about how if time, uh, if time machines were ever to be invented, why hasn't somebody come back in time? And I'm like, because they're not stupid. If you invented a time machine, why would you go to the past yeah. when you could go to the future? Right? Well, and first of all, you can't go back in past. This is another paradox thing. But if somebody really invented a way to time travel, the only way it would really make sense is if they went to the future or to an alternate dimension. Yeah, yeah. you can't go back in time. I'm sorry. You just can't. It wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. There are way too many paradoxes. Um, but you can go in the future if you like have a bunch of gravity or shit. You know. So you, if you just go, you just go fast enough. If yeah. you just move fast enough. Which, right now, we can't go fast enough. 
We cannot go faster than light speed. If we went faster than light speed, so actually, um, there's an interesting case study that was done for like twins. So that, I guess it's not a, actually a case study. I don't know why I said that. Um, it was a hypothetical, and it's that if you got twins who were going to die at the same time, they were like born at the same time and they're going to die at the same time. Um, and one of them became a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. uh, they would live for longer. Okay. Just because they're traveling faster? Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. It is crazy. It's, it's just really weird to think about. But, like, how much longer? Like, a day? Um. So, it's weird because if, like, I think it was, like, if they're a flight attendant for, like, oh, wait. I think I have to twist it. If only we had a smart pig to use that lever for us. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, this is like moving furniture 101. I, I legit <laughs> don't remember. It might, it might just be like this. You might just have to deal. God, I feel like we've gone all over the place. We, we should like have a notebook or something with what we're talking about. I have to keep track of <laughs> yeah. this nonsense. All of our tangents. Um... Yeah, so time travel, it watch, I don't know. It, I watch like, Primer. I like um, sci-fi movies a lot. Interstellar. <laughs> okay, first death. Oh, wait, no, I've already died a bunch of times. First death. First death. I feel like you shouldn't have died there. That was kind of dumb. No, it, I, that totally made sense. I dropped like 50 feet. Oof. But um, yeah, Interstellar was good, mostly. You didn't like the ending, huh? No. Uh, I thought it was okay. Yeah. I think it made sense for like, what that movie was. Like, it's a good show. Check it out. Good movie. But, like, yeah, sci-fi, I feel like it just has the best. Christopher Nolan does a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, some sci-fi flicks that are underground, like... Primer. Star Wars? <laughs> nice, dude. No, what was Primer about? Uh, time travel. Yeah? Yeah. It's a, it's a good one. I recommend yeah, have you seen... Uh, I do, I remember how this works. What's it called? Star Trek. <laughs> have you seen that one? No, is it good? No. Oh, okay. I like that, like... That's a pretty stylish hat. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Ooh. Are you using, like, both thumbsticks? Let's see if I remember. What's going on here? Like, control-wise. Yeah. There we go. What what the hell? What explain? What do you mean? What just happened? I was just controlling him. Well, like how? Uh, I mean, it was only one thumbstick. It's just the directional. Okay. That's weird. They just go like opposing directions. Oh. So I'm like, I'm just clicking left right now. Okay. Ooh, light. Oh, and I gotta stand on pressure plates. There we go. Guys, I'm actually really good at puzzle games. <laughs> uh, I beat The Witness. I beat Talos Principle. Uh, and he's playing this game. Blind. I don't even need to beat Toad's Treasure Tracker to beat it. Oh, yeah, dude. Toad's Treasure Tracker yeah. and Ico, like, same game, right? Oh, that's right? true. I, I, <laughs> I did beat Ico. <laughs> yeah. Regardless of that uh, mental breakdown I had in the middle of it. <laughs> no, Toad's Treasure Tracker... Uh, I mean, Ico was... It was a good game, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because the speed run and killed it for me, but it, it just didn't seem like my cup of tea. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. It's just you know, Nintendo's really got to work on their achievements. Gosh dang, <laughs> I couldn't actually. My it screen is, is really dark. Yeah. Um, it's hard to see anything, and I just remembered that this game is going to be dark the entire time. <laughs> Here, let me, let it's, me. it's at no point going to get... No, this doesn't help at all. This is horrible. This is way worse. Um, since all of you are listening, he just turned the flashlight on on his phone. Okay, I did the exact same thing. What, do you... Please cut that. Please cut, <laughs> please cut where I died at the same time. Nope. Guys, there's going to come a point where I edit a show, yeah. and I guarantee it'll be half the amount of time that I'm actually playing. Evan does not like cutting. Because he likes that, and it makes sense. He wants to have as much stuff as possible. No, it's not even that. It's just like, 
we want a chill show, you know? Yeah. Like, the vibe is it's just got to be, like, chill, you know? Like, keep it rad. Hashtag keep it rad. Yeah, boy. Cause is like this it, a thing? I don't even if we did like a PewDiePie style show where it's like just the funny stuff, it's like it's a different it's a different show. Where let's play channel, bro. Yeah, I guess what? I don't know what to do. Uh, we just broke that thing, and there's a giant E in the background, so I think I should help. Um, okay, I think that's that's a good point. Uh, can you like jump on something with the E? Oh, I thought I just grabbed something. Can you like grab the thing you broke? No, I tried. Unless I'm pressing the wrong button. What's that thing like kind of in the foreground there? This? Yeah. That was what I pulled out of it. Oh. I can't interact with that either. Can you like call your horse? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I. I'm actually. I don't think I'm even supposed to. This, <laughs> this might not be a thing that we're supposed to do. Jeez, that's. that's Ominous. I don't like those people. You don't like them? How uh, about I mean, you're right. I, th I think you're right. I just want you to say why. Their posture. That's true. And Silhouettes. I yeah. think it contributes to how creepy they are. Yeah, and the uniformity. Yeah, I was right. There was no reason for me to die twice there. I feel really bad. Please cut it. <laughs> oh, man, I love their rooftops. This is so, this right here, doesn't this look like an excellent shot composition? It's like the most light in the game. This is really great. I, oh man, this game is beautiful. Dude, whenever you ask me about like art and like what looks good, I'm just gonna refer to the rule of thirds. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all right. Rule of thirds, maybe like um, the golden ratio. Just like say stuff that sounds more. Yeah, Chekhov's gun. <laughs> Mary Sue. I, I never, what is Mary Sue? Um, so it's in reference to a Star Trek character. I think well, her name is literally like Mary Sue or something. That makes sense. It's, uh, but basically it just refers to kind of like a, well, she's a character that everyone likes except for the villain, obviously. And she's kind of good at everything, but she basically exists to have like an emotional impact for when she dies. Yeah. Um, Spoiler so, alert, Mary so Sue dies. It's not, it's not very interesting. Like it's a pretty weak character model. Since they don't have any flaws, they don't really do anything that's interesting. Like, it, nothing that they do has any meaning. Okay, I was obviously supposed to move that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. Ladders work both ways? Yeah, so if anybody was wondering, uh, Robert is actually an idiot. Holy crap. Welcome. That's this not is, This good. is going to be sketchy, too. Have you seen Wally? I have, dude. I actually really like Wally. -E. Wally's -E like one of the best. One of the things that I really like about Wally -E is that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dead. Holy shit. Whoa. One of the things I really liked about Wally -E was that for the first 30 minutes, no one says anything. Yeah? You're literally just watching Wally. -E and I. It's. <laughs> What? <sighs> okay, guys. Wait, should we cut it here? Should we? Should oh, we? sure. Yes, yeah. please cut all of it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just, Can cut we just all... restart. Yeah, we'll restart next time. Why didn't I practice? Stop. Limbo part. No, it's not limbo. It's, uh, what's this game called? Inside. Inside. Why is no. Oh, you didn't open it. Okay. Inside coming at you next time. Bye bye.